Something I'm really grateful to my parents for, ever since we were younger, we always took trips together. You don't realize how blessed you are until you meet people on their deathbed who have never traveled out of the state, let alone the country. Here in Latin America and most poor countries is because they can't afford it, but most people in the West have the ability to travel at some point in their life. Those who don't usually are very close-minded. And it's not a knock on them at all, it's just you don't know what you're missing until you see it for yourself. I think by the time I was 16, I traveled to 10 countries. I don't remember a lot of it because I was pretty young when I was was 10 and we were in the Philippines seeing all these kids constantly begging and not having any clothes and living in really poor conditions really made an impact on me. It really humbled me and made me appreciate all the things that I had. It also made me realize how insignificant I am in comparison to the world but I know that it gave me a ton of perspective and because I had a lot of experience traveling as a kid I felt a lot more comfortable doing it as an adult. For someone who hasn't done it before I can understand how intimidating it is going to a new place with a new culture and a new language and not knowing what to do but being exposed to travel travel all of these years made me realize how similar we are. That even though we are all raised in separate cultures, there are still a bunch of things that unite us as people. Even though you may not be able to speak the language, there are general things you can communicate without saying a single word. In these moments, you realize the world is a lot bigger than we think, but also a lot more connected. And this is the beauty of travel. It sounds like one of those cheesy lines, but what does it really mean? To me, it's about living a life worth living, that you will never achieve this if you stay in your comfort zone. I've used this model ever since I started college, and I've learned that life rewards those who bet on themselves. Most people nowadays I feel lack perspective, especially those who grew up in first world countries. And there's nothing more humbling than seeing a family of eight living in a one bedroom apartment and being some of the happiest people you'll ever meet. It also makes you super guilty about all the stupid stuff you've complained about in the past. Travel gives you a first hand look on how other people live their lives, and you always come back questioning everything that you know. Traveling also makes you brave. Courage is something that I feel like is lacking in today's world. And the more you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, for example, in a new country, in a new language, and just figure it out, you gain a sense of competency and courage that's very difficult to explain. I share a lot of my experiences and knowledge on this channel because I've seen how other people live all around the world. And I try to pick the best parts of each culture. And you also realize that the world isn't as dangerous as people make it out to be. I feel like there are two kinds of travelers. The ones that have to plan everything down to a T and the ones that like to just kind of go with the flow. I'm definitely more of the latter. There's nothing quite like taking a bunch of dumb photos with a bunch of strangers you met at the Tower of Pisa or having a philosophical conversation about life and death at the top of the Spanish steps and then going back to the hostel afterwards for drinks and karaoke. Or that one girl that definitely looked a lot better when you were dancing in the club. Uh, yeah, we all make mistakes. <laughs> These are the moments that make life worth living. I'm a lot older now and my riskier days are behind me. I'm looking to settle down and build a family now. Part of me still misses the freedom of being able to go out and explore the world. Not gonna lie, writing this right now is giving me the travel bug again. And I think this is why your 20s are so important. I was talking to my buddy Adam. He was telling me that your 30s are like your 20s just with money. We chuckled because I thought there was a hint of truth to that. But there's a charm in trying to make it work with the little amount of money that you have. And that's usually how you find yourself in crazy situations which make for great stories later on. And there's a energy and curiosity for life that can't be imitated once the adult responsibilities start weighing you down. I never understood people spending $3,000 for a weekend in Vegas when you could have spent that same amount of money traveling to a bunch of different countries for a month. Your 20s are such a beautiful period of discovery and growth and traveling only enhances this. It even made sense to me how people spend so much money on music festivals, tables at clubs, gambling, all these things that are stupidly expensive and honestly not super fulfilling. I've seen people spend $1,000 on a jacket, $800 on shoes, $100,000 on a new car and for what? To be afraid that something bad is going to happen to the expensive thing? None of these things in enrich the soul. They may make you feel good for a moment, but I've found that material items usually bring a lot more stress than they do happiness. Have a bigger house, it's a lot more effort to maintain. Have a nicer car, you're going to be worried about people making a dent in it. Have an expensive watch, you're never going to wear it, and when you do, you're always going to be looking over your shoulder to see if somebody wants to try to rob you. But $4,000 for a six-week trip to Europe, Latin America, or Asia, meeting new people, trying different food, exploring new cultures, that's something that is always worth the investment. Perspective. All of us lack perspective. It's really easy to think the world revolves around you until you realize how big it really is. Then we realize how small and significant we are in comparison. There was a girl I went to high school with named Ayumi. We weren't exactly close, but when we were all in college, she unexpectedly died in a car crash at the age of 21. And her best friend was the driver. 
talk about heavy, right? I remember standing at a funeral with all of our classmates and just thinking to myself how trivial life is. And if I were to die tomorrow, but I feel regret for not pursuing what I want out of life or peace, knowing that I did everything in my power to live the best life possible. I currently live in Colombia a few days before getting married to my Colombian fiance. I came with nothing, just a backpack, carry on luggage and my camera bag. And a little over two years, I was able to make this life for myself. It's been a pretty crazy journey to get here, but I felt like I had the courage to do it because of all the previous travel experience that I had. There are certain things in life that you can only learn by experience and to me there is nothing more humbling more exciting and more fulfilling than traveling in your 20s thank you for watching peace let's get it on, let's get it on.